Continuing our tour of interesting locations in the Diocese of Killaloo, here we are today on Scattery Island or Inishkahi, which is in the Shannon Estuary and the Wild Atlantic Way. And you locate uh, Scattery Island from Kilrush. Uh, the boat brings you across there, about a 20 minute trip. And the island gets its name from a famous battle that happened way back in prehistoric times, where St. Senan, uh, who is the local saint, had a big battle or a ka uh, with the Kahach, uh, who is the name of the Ulfesht or the serpent at the time and he defeated the serpent and banished it into the sea and uh, headed off towards North Clare and St. Senan then took over as the saint of the island and developed the monastery and it developed very gradually into uh, the fine monastic location that it was and thrived until the um, as a diocese even the diocese of Scattery right up until the Middle Ages and eventually like happened to so many of the monasteries uh, around the time of King Henry VIII the monasteries were dissolved. Uh, what a beautiful place it is to go to, uh, which is, uh, um, originally was a diocese, and the Diocese of Limerick, the Diocese of Killaloo, and the Diocese of Ardfert or Kerry uh, lay claim to certain parts of the island. Of course, we in Killaloo would claim that it is uniquely ours. The tradition of holy wells is a very special part of our faith and a big part of the Celtic religion that we have inherited. And here we are at St. Senan's Holy Well on Scattery Island or Inishkahi. And the well, it is reputed to have a cure for those who have ailments of the eye. Uh, St. Senan being the saint that was very devout, very holy here and brought some of his miraculous uh, cures to the island. One of the many churches on the island of Inishkahi or Scattery Island is Champel Namarov, again associated with, with St. Senan. Uh, the church in its present form was probably 14th, 15th century, and uh, some of the native islanders in later times continued to be buried in the church, well worth seeing with the uh, ancient flagstones going right up to the sanctuary of the sacred place. One of the interesting uh, stories associated with the island is uh, St. Senan's link with St. Conra. St. Conra, who is very much part of the tradition of the Diocese of Killaloo, especially in Shannon, with one of the schools named after St. Conra. And St. Conra was a uh, sister of St. Senan, and St. Senan had a very strict rule that no women were allowed on the island. However, St. Conra pushed it, and when she became ill, she insisted on being buried close to St. Senan and uh, uh, apparently she was uh, buried down towards the sea, uh, very close to the grave here as well. St. Senan and St. Conra pray for us. Here at the end of Scattery Island or Inishkahi, we're at the lighthouse, which is adjacent to the huge big artillery uh, plant, which is just beside the lighthouse. The lighthouse tradition goes back to the end of the 1600s, and the current one was built sometime after that. Uh, for a long number of years, there was a resident who was uh, fully employed to look after the lighthouse for the uh, incoming boat people that were journeying on the seas in from the Atlantic. Of course, in recent times, uh, it is fully automatic. Uh, way back in 1932, the very last resident was there. And the person who ha held that post always had a very high social standing, uh, interestingly, in the community. What a joy it is to be here on Scattery Island on this beautiful summer's day.